installing vSphere Client, the VMware Virtual Infrastructure Client. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to install a vSphere Client, previously known as Virtual Infrastructure VI Client, on a Windows system that you will use to manage your ESX servers and vCenter server installation. You could install the vSphere Client on any number of Windows machines. Your licensing agreement does not regulate the number of vSphere Clients installed. The vSphere Client is a Windows application that allows for connecting directly to an ESX slash ESXi host or to a vCenter server installation. The difference is that when you connect directly to an ESX ESXi host, it does require a user account that exists on that specific ESX host while connecting to a vCenter server installation relies on local Windows or Active Directory user authentication. Additionally, some major features such as vMotion, for example, are available only when you connect to vCenter server installation. vSphere Client isn't that intensive of an application, and you don't need a high-end PC to run it. In fact, the installation requirements are not that big. All you need is a PC with a single processor, one CPU, recommended as a minimum of 500 megahertz. I'd recommend you have at least 10 gigs, and if you're going to use the update utility to update VMs also, then 120 gigs of free space is a good start. If you do a full installation of the vSphere client, it includes a number of components. It includes Microsoft Net 2.0, Net 3.0 with Service Pack 1, it includes Visual J, and of course the core component is the VMware vSphere client, and then the optional component that you can specify at install is whether or not you want the host update utility to be installed. Alright, there are three different ways to download the VMware vSphere client. The easiest way is to open up your web browser and to point it to an ESX host or the vCenter server, and from there you could easily download the vSphere client. Now one other option is that you can get it off the VMware vCenter media. That media could be a DVD or it could be an ISO file that you've downloaded from VMware. To install vSphere client, I'm going to open a web browser, and then up in the address bar I'm going to type in the IP address that we configured on the ESX server during the installation process. Now this is the standard security certificate error, firm security exception to allow us to access to the HTTPS interface for the server. From here we can download the vSphere client. Click the link Download vSphere Client. Save the file on your hard drive as vmware-viclient.exe. Once the file is downloaded, click Close. Close Internet Explorer. The exe file is on my desktop. I'm going to click on this, and then say I want to run this vmware-viclient.exe application. It'll take just a second to download this over my local LAN. Now we say we want to go ahead and run the new application, because we know where it came from, and it'll extract the installation files. So the first thing we need to do is choose our language. I'm just going to take the defaults here, and with that the installation starts. You can see down here it's extracting the VMware vSphere Client MSI, and that brings up the installation wizard. I'll say Next here. I'll say Next here. We'll need to accept the license agreement, and I'll say Next. And then as far as where to install the vSphere Client, I'll just take the default of C slash program files slash VMware slash infrastructure, and then I'll click Next. And then at this point, we have a final confirmation screen where we check Install to start the installation. It'll take just a second to install all the pieces of the VMware vSphere client. Okay, all the components have been installed. It only took a few minutes, and at this point we can say finish, and our VMware vSphere client installation is completed. So let's see if it really worked. And in the next movie, we'll take a look at this by connecting to our ESX server.